All right, welcome back to World of Diving. This is a new, uh, I guess, diving simulator is what you would call it. Available on Steam now. I actually picked it up on the Humble Store for like 11 bucks. And uh, I've been playing it a bit. Here's my character. Here you go, fully customizable. I mean, just a white suit and some colors, but there he is. And for some reason, this menu shrunk. It used to be in the middle of the screen, it used to be a lot bigger, but now, uh, smaller. So let's see what's going on. You can play online, you can play offline, but at least you can find a game. Play. Okay, so it looks like they, oh, they did. They completely changed the uh, the main menu. So maybe they went with the smaller menu. Weird. This is a lot smaller too. Weird. Resolution's fine. Uh, anyway, this game is um, I think it was developed for the Oculus Rift. Because uh, it has a ton of op menu options, settings, and before uh, start, even on Steam, it asks you to interrupt with the grid. So here we go, we're in. Um, let's just jump right into it. I'm not sure if there's other players in here. I don't even know how to find out. I don't know if you just look around and see players. Just go down. Ah, we're going in. I've played a little bit, and I'm not sure what the objective is other than exploring. It seems like each level, like you saw me choose really earlier. Oh, let's bust this out. This is a cool part. A bunch of tools, scuba toys you get to play with. But um, yeah, each map is, I mean, it's not huge, but it's also not small. It's pretty good size. I don't know what that is. Good size maps. And you can see a uh, shell which you can collect pearls, which you can use as a currency. Now we are on a multiplayer server right now, so there should be other divers around here. We might run into them. Now this is where you start community missions, which I don't, I don't think I can start them. Oh yeah, I guess I am the host, so maybe there's no other. Uh, Really, really, uh, visibility is really low right now. Oh, let's check out the settings. Yep, yep, full screen, show, okay. it's not allowed anymore. You know what, it's enough. Click, my, click everything you want. Using head mounted hand track. Okay, that's different. I wonder if this is a uh, support of a track IR. I do have track IR, that'd be pretty sweet. You just turn your head while diving. Anyway, you got a camera to take pictures. Some of the missions or objectives that require you to take pictures. And then you got this uh, vertigo, whatever. Like a water transport system. I don't know what they call it. Then you got. Oh, this, this is my favorite. Actually, I don't know why. I always wanted to go metal detect. Probably should. I should get myself one. But you can metal detect and find the balloon, which is uh, old pirate coin. Well, any kind of coins. Really. But you can scan around, and I mean, you don't have to be in the sand to do it. You can kind of just point around and start giving you a signal. There's a clam. Clam. Called oyster clam. I don't know my saltwater sea life. I'm not getting any signals. Ah, the visibility is really poor. Let's go over to the uh, lights. Okay, that is a shark. I don't know what the deal is. There's enemies. This is the only map I've encountered sharks. Every time I see them, they kind of disappear. Like they'll, they'll run away, basically. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Probably not the one man. And the visibility is really poor. Now, like I said, this game is 
really early. Um, it's early access on Steam. It'll, I guess it's been around for about a year. Uh, right now, I think on Steam it's like 20 bucks. Um, whether it's worth that 20 bucks, I really can't say. It's definitely worth what I paid, which is, like I said, was like 11. I don't know if I would pay 20. There's not a lot of replay value unless you like. Um, what would you call it? Like, you know, look, it's like a treasure hunt. You're looking for treasure. You're looking for pearls inside of these oysters or clams, whatever they are. Nothing. You know, and then you could also do the objectives, which is taking pictures of fish, trying to find and locate certain fish. I mean, that's all really fun, especially. Oh, we're getting a signal here. I'm gonna. Well, I'll leave it open. Now, luckily, you can mute it and you could just look at your device or metal detector. Let's unmute it and see if we can find it. Aha! Uh -huh. Found it. Swam right over it. That's a doubloon, and you can collect a bunch of those. Each one has so many per level. I believe even after you collect them all, you can return and collect more. Do it again and again, so... I don't know how to completely complete a level. Um, I know there's a bunch of levels, different dive locations. We'll probably check out another dive location, because this one's really murky. We should probably go to one I've never been to. Which, extra level we've done too, so... Let's go check that out. I was the host. So yeah, like I said, this game has been available since uh, early last year, I think. Um, and I believe it was available as like a standalone. It wasn't even on Steam. Um, then there's forums and stuff. Uh, you actually have to create an account before you play. But th this is like a third-party account that I'm using. I'm not sure why they do that. I think because you could save your pictures and send it to their online uh, to their website. Let's dive at let's check out Brony. Oh, actually, no, let's go to Bismarck. Yeah. See, so, yeah, they have a website and forums and all that stuff, and it seems semi-active. A lot of people are a little bit skeptical about how. Uh, about how long the game's going to actually survive and if they're going to be able to revive it. It seems like it's a little dead right now. Oh, wow. What the hell is that? Oh, is this... What the hell is that? Oh, this just gives me the chills. Oh, I don't like really big objects. There's this also like jetpack thing you can use. Where you can go up and down. Let's, let's go to the location. Oh, there's a light. That probably would have helped. Man, yeah, the visibility is even worse. I'm not sure if this is something that they added. A feature. No. Oh, here's our dive. Uh, here we go. Ooh. Submarine of some sort. Well, here's the biz. I don't know why I thought it was going to be small. Man, they really want to scale with this thing. Oh. Now, I wish they would not do this glow thing and graphics. Not, like, you know, it's cool that they want you to see it, but how about not make it so bright? You know, kind of kind of kills the, the, the mood. Let's bring it up. Oh, really slow. Let's bring it up. 
little uh, scooter. I think that's what it was called. Scooter. Water scooter. Something like that. So this looks like the front of the ship here. Oh man, this is cool. It's a little creepy. How low are we? Oh yeah. I don't think we'd actually be able to dive this deep in real life. No way. 15,000? Almost 16? No way. Oh, we're going in. Here we go. Faster. I don't know if it's because of the depth, but for some reason, I feel like I'm controlling a lot slower. There's a bunch of hatches here. Can we open these? Yeah, let's turn off the light and see how it would look without lights. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this game. A little weird, I'm not sure. Oh, that creeped me out. It looks like a thing. Monster. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, record this. If anyone wants to see more, or uh, interested in any of the actual features, you know, and I'll record. Um, I did play multiplayer with a friend, and she really liked it. It's, it's a really relaxing game. I don't know about this map. Silent scuba diving. Just to get the uh, get an idea of the mood this game really sets. So I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Or, see more. or if you have any suggestions of games you'd like to see, I'm gonna shut up now. We'll see you.